Hello, my name is Simon Kerrans. Welcome to another Sports Call broadcast. Over the course of the last few weeks, I've been asking you to tell me what you think will happen in the sporting year of 2017. Many of you have got in touch, and over the course of the next few minutes, I'm going to read out what I believe to be the best, most insightful predictions. Of course, we won't know how accurate you are until the events either come to pass or remain in the fantasy world. Kicking off with Tommy from California. Many thanks, Tommy, for getting in touch. Tommy says, I predict that Blackburn Rovers will stay in the championship only if Venkis call it a day. If they still hang on, the gloom will result in our demise. Come on the next saviour, whoever that may be. We need a true Blackburn believer. Many thanks, Tommy, for your contribution. I'm sure your sentiments are echoed by many Blackburn Rovers fans. Craig in Clitheroe says, I think West Ham won't win the FA Cup this season. I fancy Man City to win that. Spurs for the league, Man United for the Worthington Cup, and Burnley and Blackburn Rovers to both stay up. Many thanks, Craig, for your comments. Craig is a Burnley fan. So he's being very magnanimous, predicting Blackburn Rovers to stay up. Hopefully both Burnley and Blackburn will remain in their respective divisions. Certainly Burnley giving themselves every chance of surviving in the Premier League. Blackburn Rovers, well, who knows what will happen. It's looking as if it could be going down to the wire for them. I personally think they might just stave off relegation. But Stephen Billington disagrees, saying that the club have been in the bottom three for most of the season, and he is far from convinced that they have the wherewithal to change that. Moving away from football, at least for a moment or two, Jerry predicts that Nairo Quintana will win the Tour de France this summer. Promises to be another very exciting race. Remember that Britain's Chris Froome has dominated it in the last few years. But Quintana, Jerry's tip for glory. Returning to football, surprise, surprise, Simon says Chelsea will win the league, Man United both cups, West Ham relegated. Right, that's Simon going to be unfriended after this. Spurs will be top at Christmas, and Simon Kerrin is to be knighted for services to the local football league. Well, that would be lovely, but that's probably the longest shot of all. But who knows, maybe Simon's got a crafty bet on somewhere if you have let me know Gillian some will lose some will win well that's a very philosophical prediction but of course it is important to remember that as much as we love sport life itself is actually more important I'm reminded of the Shankly quote which contradicted that but at the end of the day when you think of illnesses when you think of war when you think of some of the awful things going on in this world of ours important to get things in perspective yes footballing defeats are disappointing it's awful if our team loses in whatever sport or our favorite competitor comes to grief but at the end of the day we do need to keep things in perspective carl is certainly doing that in terms of his sporting predictions possibly possibly a very straightforward accumulator bet here chelsea to win the league real madrid for the champions league andy murray to retain his wimbledon title and Burnley to stay up. The chances are that at least two of those are going to come to pass, quite possibly all four. And Fran in Accrington says West Ham will still be rubbish. I think people are trying to be a little bit personal towards me, given my love of West Ham. I've supported them for almost 37 years. I know what some of you are thinking. You get far less for murder, but such is life. Some other predictions to share with you before I sign off with my own. My dad hopes that Charlton will get promotion, but he thinks that they're resigned to another season in League One. Mum is an Arsenal supporter. She would love Arsenal to win a trophy. She would love them to finish again in the Champions League, but she's far from convinced that either will happen. Andy from Stafford has got in touch to say he thinks West Ham really will push on now that we're out of the FA Cup. We'll be getting a top seven or eight finish in the league, giving us a very good platform for building next year. Eduardo in crew says he hopes that it's a good year for England's rugby team. Remember, we won the Six Nations title and with it the Grand Slam last season. He hopes for more of the same this time round and believes 
but under Eddie Jones that will indeed come to pass. Brian in London hopes the Crystal Palace will stay up, but he is actually predicting relegation under Big Sam. That, of course, would be Sam Allardyce's first relegation as a manager. Kenny in Glasgow is confident that Andy Murray will win at least one more Grand Slam title this season. He's just been knocked out of the Australian Open, very surprisingly, but of course he's got the French, Wimbledon and the US Open still to go at. He's won Wimbledon twice, he's won the US Open once, and maybe, just maybe, he will improve on his final performance at Stad Roland Garros this year. Joanna Conta, says Kenny, is set to be the star of British tennis this year, and certainly she is living up to that billing with her performances in the Australian Open. She reached the semi-finals there last year. She is set to meet Serena Williams in the quarters this time around, but regardless of what happens in Melbourne, the chances are Joanna Conta really is going to be in the latter stages of all the major tournaments this season. Still on the subject of tennis, Shoaib in Haslingdon tips Roger Federer to win at least one more Grand Slam this year. Quite possibly, he says, the French Open. Who knows? Time will tell. And Declan says 2017 will be the year when English Test Cricket finally accepts the contribution of Owen Morgan. Get him back in the team. He will score runs, and he is also the perfect man to replace Alistair Cook should Cook step down as captain. Many thanks to all of you who have got in touch in response to my request for Sports Call Predictions. I will, of course, be keeping tabs on your predictions and indeed mine to see what happens in this sporting year of 2017. I'm going to sign off with one prediction that I can make very confidently and another that I would like to see happen. I truly believe Lewis Hamilton will regain the Formula One World Drivers' Championship and I would like, despite all that's gone on off the course, wouldn't it be great if Tiger Woods got back to winning ways at least once more in a major tournament before the end of his career? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you want those things to happen? Or are you dreading that they might happen? Keep the banter going. Keep the communication lines open. I'm certainly going to do that. And we'll review these as we go through the year. But for now... This is Simon Kerrin signing off, thanking you for your contributions and looking forward to speaking with you again soon. All the best for now. Take care.